Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Travis, and in today's video, I got some more pin mail to show you guys. Super excited to show you this. This is actually a WDI pin set, so really excited to show you. And then I also got my first piece of magic mail, so I'm really excited to open this. I don't know what's inside, um, but this is from a subscriber to the channel, so thank you so much, but I'm gonna save this until the end. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see what's inside. So let's go ahead and let's check out what's in the packages. All right, so the first package that I... <laughs> Alright guys, so this package I'm really excited to share with you guys. Like I said, this is a WDI limited edition pin set. It's the complete set. It is the Goofy Movie limited edition WDI pin set. So I'm super excited to show you guys. I'm going to kind of slide these out. There's quite a few of them. I think there's eight complete pins and then there's like the film strip. So. Here's kind of what they, whoo, almost dropped it. But I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these out of the plastic. I'm gonna show you close-ups of each pin. All right, so here's a close-up of the Walt Disney Imagineering limited edition Goofy Movie pin set. So the first one that I'm gonna show you guys, this is Bigfoot right here, which first of all, let me just tell you about the backer card. You know how I love backer cards. So I think the backer card that they changed to, I like it a lot better than the older backer cards. I like how it says the Walt Disney Imagineering right up here, and this little sparkle element is kind of like a foil effect, so it kind of shines and glimmers. So I really like that, I think that's really cool. And then the bottom has that same kind of effect. The limited edition has like a foil kind of look, so it kind of changes color with the light depending on how the light hits it. But back to the pin, so we have Bigfoot right here. Um, he just looks so awesome. This was like one of my favorite parts in the movie when he puts on that headset and then he kind of bops his finger back and forth as he's listening to the music. So funny. But I really love the colors that they used. Um, it's very 90s, so you know the blues right there and the yellow and the purple. So it has that, that 90s kind of vibe to it. I also wanted to note that on all of these WDI pins, in the background with this purple part right here, it kind of has like that glitter effect to it, that sparkling embellishments. So just a little touch, you know, adds that little bit extra to it which I think is amazing so all of these pins have that effect to it so I think this is just my personal opinion that WDI pins are the best quality and best made Disney pins so that's just my opinion that's what I think you know obviously I think Disney auction makes great pins Disney shopping but I think overall quality especially for the newer pins that have been coming out WDI is hands down the best just the quality you know the size of the pins just everything about it just screams you know high quality so i love wdi pins but like i said that's just my opinion um you know if you guys want to leave me a comment down below tell me what your favorite you know style of pin is what you know disney shopping disney auction the regular park pins i'll tell you what paris pins are really nice too but like i said i just think wdi pins are the best they're awesome all right so the next pin that i'm going to show you guys so right here is the bobby pin he's got the leading tower of cheesa on his hand which is just amazing amazing. Um, I like the little touches that they put here. So obviously, you know, the Tower of Chiza looks amazing. Um, I like the little earring that they put right here. You know, it's it's well defined. You can definitely see it. It's not like they just kind of added a little touch there. So like I said, the WDI pins have those extra little effects. Still has that sparkling embellishment, has the colors. Um, I think that the colors that they use in general for Bobby, like his hair, the orange that they used is spot on. So I think they did a great job with this pin. And I mean, Bobby is just one of the comic reliefs in a goofy movie and he's amazing so I think this is an awesome pin. All right so next up the pin that I'm going to show you guys is we got Pete right here kind of just giving like a thumbs up kind of lackadaisical over there you know kind of like whatever but I don't know I remember when I was watching the movie goofy movie I was it was kind of weird for me to see Pete as like a friend to somebody versus like a villain because usually in a lot of things that I've seen Pete's usually always like a villain. So it was kind of like caught me off guard when I was watching this movie back in the day. I was like, so he's a friend of Goofy? Like I didn't really know how that came about, but I just thought that that was interesting. But I think that the colors that they use are really good, like I said, um, has that 90s vibe to it. But overall, I just think it's an amazing pin. So next up, we have PJ right here. And PJ just looks great. He's dancing, he's probably listening to some power line. Um, he's got some you know, tools in his hand, so I think that's amazing. Um, so you know, PJ is um, Max's best friend. So I just love the way that they depicted PJ in this pin. He's just very excited and lovable. So he's a great character. And I think this pin just kind of depicts PJ um, amazingly. So I really like that. Now I will tell you, so I thought that all of these pins did have the sparkling embellishment in the back right here but now that i'm looking closely at this one in particular um, it just has like a pink background it doesn't really sparkle kind of like the bigfoot one did so here's the bigfoot one right next to it i'll put it right next to it so you can see like this one over here like it really sparkles and this one is kind of muted 
So, I mean, I guess that kind of, you know, distinguishes the different pins, but I kind of wish that they were all sparkly. So I just noticed that, so that's different. So anyways, I think that this pin is amazing and I really like the way that they depicted PJ in this pin. All right, so next up, we got my man Goofy right here, just looking amazing. I love the pose that he's in. He's like super happy. Looks like he's got like his fishing vest on, like maybe he was practicing the perfect cast. I don't know. But like I said, um, this one has the sparkling embellishments there, so that's great. Um, and like I said, I really just love the colors of this pin. Like I said, it has that 90s kind of vibe to it, which, you know, that was like my time. I was born in the 80s but you know the 90s was definitely memorable for me I mean this pin is a huge pin it's like a three inch pin so it's definitely a large size I love all the colors that they use especially in his vest and that kind of like lime green they have for his uh, for his shirt I think that's great and then the expression in his eyes you can just really tell that he's really excited like something's about to happen something's going on he's probably just super pumped that he gets to spend time with his son Max so speaking of Max here he is this is the WDI pin of Max from a goofy movie and I just love the pose that they you know depicted him in looks like he's jamming out to power line he's trying to be so cool maybe he's trying to impress Roxanne I don't know but he's got his backwards hat on he's got like those visor sunglasses on and he's just like I feel like he's just trying so hard to impress somebody so next up we have Roxanne and I just love this pin I think they depicted her perfectly I love how she's holding the books she kind of has like that side smirk she's kind of looking at someone probably looking at Max daydreaming about him I don't know but I just think the depiction here is just perfect so I love her hair right here I think the hair how it kind of like drapes over her face is beautiful this one does not have the sparkling embellishments in the pink back there which I'm kind of bummed out about I wish it did have it for that one but I think the colors that they used um, like I said in her hair I think is amazing and the tones of brown for her face and her nose I think they did a really good job with that they got the little touch of the earring right there so overall I think they did an amazing job with this pin and love Roxanne she's great so I'm really happy with the way this pin came out like I said I think the way that they depicted Roxanne is perfect and this is definitely probably one of my most favorite pins from this set Da, 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 da. I mean, when you hear that beat drop, I mean, I just get pumped up. I get hyped up about it because I just love that song, Eye to Eye. It's amazing. I mean, I think the soundtrack for a Goofy movie is pretty amazing. You know, Stand Out's a great song as well. But anyway, here we go. You know, the main event, Powerline. This is like what everyone was trying to see in the movie, you know, Goofy and Max took that great adventure and they finally got to the concert. So here's the pin of Powerline and again, I just feel like the way that they posed him in this pin is perfect. So he's doing like the eye to eye dance because he's got his fingers right there pointing to his eyes. So you know that this is the eye to eye song. So in my mind, I can just picture him doing the eye to eye dance. You got Goofy and Max over there and then they all join together and they do the perfect cast. I mean, it's just such a great scene. So um, I love this pin and I think, like I said, the way that they depicted Powerline is just perfect. Powerline pin. I think is my favorite out of this set. Leave me a comment down below which pin out of this set is your favorite. So here's a close-up of the back of the WDI Goofy Movie pins. I'm not going to show you each one, but I'm just going to give you an example. This one is on the Powerline one. So it has two pin posts. In the center says the Walt Disney Imagineering exclusive limited edition of 250 has the Disney copyright and then underneath that it has the FAC number. And you can always tell if a pin is a WDI pin because the back of the pin the pattern is always like these little sorcerer hats. And I also wanted to show you like a side view of the pins. And as you can see, these pins are like a pin on pin element. So it has like the base pin right here and then they add, this one's the power line pin. So they put the power line on top of this pin. That's why they call it a pin on pin element. All right, so the last pin in this pin set is the Goofy Movie Film Strip. So WDI has been releasing a lot of these film strip type pins for the anniversaries of certain movies. So they have a whole bunch of different ones from like Frozen, uh, A Bug's Life. There's a whole bunch of them that have come out. Um, but this one I think is amazing. I like how it, you know, it really looks like a film strip. So it has like the film strip, you know, right there. And then on the left hand side, you got the possums from the possum park. I think it's called Lester's possum park, if I'm not mistaken. But so I like the detail there. And this material that they use for this is kind of like a pewter type material. And then on the right hand side, you got Powerline doing one of his dance moves. Maybe that's the standout dance move. I'm not really sure. And then over here, you have Goofy and Max right there. They're standing back to back. They look so happy together, father and son. So I really love how that came out and then this piece right here where it says a goofy movie And this is for the 25th anniversary. So this is kind of like a screen printing 
on like this like clear film right here. So I do like that, but it makes me a little nervous. I don't know if you guys can see already, but some of it's kind of starting to fade off a little bit of it. And I can only imagine that, you know, if you put this in one of your pin books and it wasn't covered with plastic, that that could start to wear off. So that makes me a little bit nervous. Um, but I still like the effect of it, but I just wish it wasn't like that screen printing. I think what would have been better is if they use an actual like film strip from the movie, like a scene, like they just cut it out, kind of like the PODMs. I don't know if you guys know what PODMs are, but those are piece of Disney movies. And it's actually a pin and it has a piece of the film in the pin. And when you hold it up to the light, you can actually see that scene through the light. So I think those pins are awesome. So if they did something like that with this pin, I think that probably would have added, you know, a little bit of an extra effect to that. If I have any PODMs, I'll see if I can get one and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But overall, I think that this pin came out amazing. I love, like I said, Lester's Possum Park power line there. And just the overall feel of the film strip looks amazing. So super excited to have it. So I just looked and I do have one PODM. I need to get more of these because these pins are just amazing. But I'm going to go ahead and put it up next to the light so you can see the film strip of how it looks inside. All right, so as you can see, when you hold this up to the light, the film strip shows you like what piece of the movie is there. So this one has Aladdin and Jasmine. They're on the carpet. I mean, I just love these pins. I hope they come out with some more sometime soon. But I think if they took a film strip and put it in that goofy movie film strip, like I said, I think it would have added like an extra effect to it. All right, so quick story about those PODMs, the piece of Disney movie pins. So back when Stacy and I first started pin trading, we went to Epcot one day and this was like, I don't know, probably the first couple months that we started pin trading. So we were just getting into it. We didn't know too much about pin trading and how it works and whatever. But I remember going to the pin station at Epcot and they had all of those Aladdin piece of Disney movie pins there. And they were like 25 bucks a piece. And I remember like we had like four of them in our hands. And I remember looking at them and be like, wow, these pins are really cool, but $25 for a pin? I'm like, I can't spend $25 on a pin. If I could only go back and get all of those pins that I had because they are worth so much money now and I just, I should have known better. I should have known by the quality and just that they were like, you know, really detailed and each pin is different. So it's not like, you know, a lot of the pins that you get now that are limited of 2000, it's the same pin, you know, just, and there's 2000 of them. These pins, yes, they were limited edition, but each film strip in there was different. So you weren't gonna get the same ones. So, you know, we, God, I remember we had beautiful ones of, you know, Aladdin and Jasmine together, like, we had phenomenal ones and we put them back and we didn't get them. Ugh, so to this day, I'm still so mad that we didn't get them. Lesson learned, never again. Anything like that, you just get it. $25, whatever, you just buy it. But hopefully they you know, start introducing those pins back because there's a lot of movies that they haven't done with those piece of Disney movie pins. So, you know, if they do like, uh, if they do like some Frozen ones or maybe some like uh, Moana ones I think would be really pretty. Anything that has like some really pretty colors that when you hold it up to the light, it will look amazing. So yeah, if they do some Moana ones, I think that would be amazing. So I think they did a great job with these pins. If there is anything that I would kind of critique on them, I think they're amazing. So it's kind of hard for me to critique these, but if I had to, um, I really wish that each of these backgrounds had the sparkling embellishments. So, you know, it's kind of nitpicking, but you know, I wish that they all had it. And the other thing that I wish, you know, maybe would have been a little bit different is I wish that Roxanne and Max, they would be facing each other. Like if these pins were next to each other, I wish that they face towards each other. Like I feel like Max is trying to be cool in front of somebody and Roxanne's kind of looking over, you know, this way, but Max is looking the same way. So I wish that they, you know, reverse Max and, you know, turn him the other way or turn Roxanne and had her, you know, look at him. Those are the two little issues. They don't really matter, but if I had to say something, I think that's what I would say. But these are my three favorite pins from the set. Um, Powerline, I think, is my favorite. I think Roxanne's gonna be number two for me. And then, you know, I got Max right there coming in at number three. But I think all the pins in this set are amazing. If you guys have a favorite pin in this set, please leave a comment down below. I love to hear which one is your favorite. And let me know if you guys feel that the Goofy movie is a fantastic movie and it's severely underrated because I do. I think it's amazing. I can watch that movie every day. Not really, but you know, I can watch it once a year maybe. All right, so let's go ahead and open up this magic mail. I'm like a little nervous about it because I haven't opened up any magic mail before. So this is my first one, but I'm like a little nervous and I'm excited at the same time. So I'm just kind of like, uh, you know, like I don't want to open it, but I do. It's kind of like one of those things, kind of like Christmas. Like when Christmas comes, you got all the presents around the tree and you're like, man, I just want to open all the presents. But then it's like, when you do that, then Christmas is over. So I'm just like, ah, you know, like I don't, like I want to open it, but I don't because I just want to like, like look forward to it. You guys know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and open it and let's check out what we have inside. Like I said, this is um, some magic mail from a subscriber to our channel. 
Come on. But like I said, this box is from a subscriber to our channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm a little bit nervous, but let's go ahead and open it. All right. Let's slice this open. I'm a little nervous. Let's see what we got here. All right, wrapped it up in like some, uh, like some tissue paper, some purple tissue paper. I'm getting nervous, but I'm excited at the same time. Okay, Just put it in like this little bag. It's got like a little ghost on it. That's that's really cute. I like that. All right, let's go ahead and open it up real quick. I don't want to like tear the sticker off anything. Oh my gosh! So I got these cute little like buttons right here. Kind of have those little clasp backs, but it's got Halloween Mickey and Halloween Minnie. Oh my gosh, super cute. Love that. What we got right here? I'm not sure what this is. Is this like for a note, but it has like these little bears on it. Maybe there's like a little note in here. No, I guess there is. There is a little note in here. I'm gonna read it to you guys. It says, Dear Travis and Stacy, I hope you guys are having a happy Halloween. So they sent this back to us a little bit before. We had a great Halloween. Thank you so much for asking. How was yours? I hope yours was amazing. Your Disney and vegan videos always put a smile on my face. Thank you for sharing your lovely lives with us. Thank you so much. I, I can't even tell you how much that means to me. That means so much. Thank you for saying that. These are just a couple of extra pins I had. Wishing y'all a happy autumn. And this is from Nick, which is Dominic. So, oh my gosh, thank you so much for sending the little note. I really appreciate it. That's so sweet. Um, you know, we really put a lot of time and effort into making these videos. So when people say things like that, it kind of really, you know, it really inspires us to kind of keep going and keep making more videos. So thank you so much. Stacy and I really appreciate it. All right, let's check out these pins that we got right here. All right, so the first pin that I got, oh my gosh, look at this one. This is a Halloween, it looks like Goofy as a jester. Um, this pin is amazing. Stacy and I love theme pins, so we love Halloween theme, Christmas theme. So this is amazing, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I like how it has like the little glittering embellishments there. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a close up of this pin real quick. So here's a close up of this goofy Halloween pin. It looks like he's dressed up as a jester right here. So I think the colors that they used look amazing. Um, and I really like the sparkling embellishments it has right there. And I like how it has little candy corns, lollipops, all the candy. So thank you so much. This pin is amazing, love it. Okay, there's another pin down here. I haven't looked at it yet. It, it's, it's upside down like this, so I don't know what it is. And I can see it now, but I'm not looking at it. I'm looking at the camera. I'm gonna flip it and show it to you guys. Okay, what we got here? Oh my gosh, it's the Halloween, the limited release pin with Mickey and Minnie. Stacy is gonna love this. Oh my gosh, because I don't know if you guys watched our Halloween video, but we have like the advent calendar with Mickey and Minnie because Minnie is kind of like in her witch costume and Mickey is usually in like his vampire costume. So it's very similar to this. God, this pin is amazing. Thank you so much for sending us these pins and the note and these little like buttons right here. Oh, so amazing. I can't wait to go show Stacy this. Um, she's out right now, but when she gets home, I'm gonna show this. She's gonna be so pumped. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and show you a close up of this pin real quick. So here's a close up of the Halloween Trick and Treats 2020 Disney Mickey and Minnie pin from Halloween. So first off, I, you guys probably already know what I'm gonna say. The backer card on this thing is amazing. I love how it has the candy right here, and I love the colors that they use. It's not like it's like a dark orange, it's kind of like a lighter orange, so I really like that. Has 2020 right there on the bottom. I love how Minnie is in like her little witch costume, and her hat kind of has like that candy corn kind of colors, so that's amazing. And then you got Mickey over here, he's got his cape. Looks like he's doing some kind of magic, which you know, he's Sorcerer Mickey, so he can do that kind of stuff. But let me go ahead and take this pin off the backer card and show you the back real quick. So here's a close up of the back of the pin. It has two pin posts. On the top left, it has Disney Pin Trading 2020, has Disney on the right hand side, and it says limited release. And then underneath that, it has the FAC number. And then on the bottom right, it says Disney China. So thank you so much, Dominic, for the pins and the little buttons right here. And this super sweet note. I can't wait to show Stacy this pin because she's gonna freak out. But that was just so nice of you and we really, really appreciate it. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next time. Bye guys.